Welcome back to Hackcode. In this video, we're tackling an essential problem for coding interviews three soon. This problem is great for learning sorting and two pointer technique. We'll explore two approaches brute force and optimized two pointer approach. Let's break down the problem step by step and understand how the solutions work. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. The problem statement is given an integer in nums, written all the triplets, nums of i, j, k, such so that i is not equal to j, i is not equal to k, and j is not equal to k. And the sum of these three numbers should be zero. So basically, this whatever triplet we pick, the triplet sum should be zero, and the indices of this element should not be same. Okay. Notice that the solution set must not contain the duplicate triplets. Also, that we should not return any duplicate triplets. So simple, right? So let's look at examples. In example one, we have numbers minus one, zero, one, two, minus one, and minus four. So for this, uh, we have three combinations of zeros possible. First is nums of zero, nums of one, and nums of two, which is like minus one, zero, plus one, so which is zero. And similarly, we have nums of one, two, four, getting zero, okay? Also, and nums of zero, three, four, okay? So here, there are duplicate triplets, right? Zero, one, minus one, and also we have minus one, zero, one. So we should not return such duplicates. We should eradicate the duplicates and return the unique thing each time. Okay, so here the distinct triplets are minus one, zero, one, and minus one, minus one, two. So here they mentioned the order of the output and the order of the triplets doesn't matter. In the sense that in our return list, this could be first place and this could be second place. And also the order within this triplet doesn't matter. Okay. So in example two, the numbers is given as zero, one, one. We have only one triplet here and doesn't sum up to zero. So we had an empty list. Example three, we have numbers is given as all zeros. So only one triplet possible here and that is the only thing we had written, okay? So let's look into constraints here. So nums length is in the enclosure range of 3 to 3000. So what is the takeaway from this? So first point we should be aware is we can only perform 10 per operations per second. More than that operation, it results in time limit exceeded. So for this, uh, if we take a 3000 as a higher cap and let substitute n is equal to 3000. So if we do n square, it would become like what 10 power 6 into 9. So we can perform these operations. If you make it n cube, that is like what 10 power 9 into 9. So this can't be performed in a second. So that means that we had to solve this in O of n square. Okay. The next constraint is sums of i is in the enclosure range of minus 10 power 5 to 10 power 5. This is just saying that elements of array are in the enclosure range of minus 10 power 5 to 10 power 5. Okay. This is the boilerplate code given wherein the three sum method takes sums of list and returns a list of list. So I guess I personally faced this question in one of the interviews with the product based company. And this is a very perfect example of using the two pointer techniques. So let's dive in. Before we get started, I want to remind you about our exclusive blind sign for post. This carefully curated collection covers essential coding interview problems to help you master the most common patterns and excel in your interviews. Whether you are prepping for fang level interviews or just sharpening your problem solving skills, these problems will ensure you are ready for anything. Even if the exact questions aren't asked, they cover all the important patterns. So be sure to check out our playlist and stay ahead of the competition. So firstly, let's look into how to get the triplets from the given nums. So here, this is the given nums and we have all these triplets possible. So here we get one, two, three. This is a very straightforward triplet. This is three elements. And then next we have is one, two, four. And then uh, next is one, two, five. After this, we can go to the combination of one and three. So for one and three combination, what are possible triplets? One, three, four, one, three, five. And then we are done with one, three possible combinations. And then let's go for one, four possible combination triplets. One, four, five. And that's all. We don't have any other possibilities. So now uh, we're exhausted for all the triplets starting with one. So let's look into triplets starting with two. So for that, a uh, first combination is starting with two, three. So two, three, four. And then two, three, five. So we are exhausted with combinations of two, three. Now let's check with two, four combinations, two, four, five, and then we don't have any other. So we're exhausted with triplet sorting with two. So next is we have triplet sorting with three. So for this only one is possible, three, four, five. So basically if you see that, like we are fixing one pointer and we are wearing other two pointers, okay? So that means to say that we have to use three pointers, okay? So approach one, which is brute force. So in this approach, we use three nested loops to check every possible triplet in the array. For each combination of three numbers, we verify if the sum equals to zero. And then to avoid the duplicates, we use a set to store the unique triplets. So simple, right? It's just self-explanatory. We use three nested loops because we just discussed how to form a triplets. And that translates to three nested loops. 
and then for each combination of three numbers we verify if the sum equals to zero obviously because the question asks only the sum equal to zero triplets right and then to avoid the duplicates we use the set to store the unique triplets so because the question asks us not to return any duplicates for that reason we use our set data structure because set contains only unique elements so one thing to keep track is set whatever you store that should be a immutable key so because like set performs this hashing and then like it gives us off one lookup off one lookup is what like constant time lookup so for that the key should be immutable so for that we can use keys like string and tuple only because these two are immutable so other if you use list list is mutable then that can't be used as key okay so we can also use integers as key okay but here integer key is not possible here in this case we should be using tuple as a key okay or else we can join all the elements in the tuple and make it a string okay so don't worry about much of this i just give a brief intro so that we'll deep dive okay so algorithm first step is to iterate through the array using three loops to pick every possible combination of triplets this is pretty obvious step required next step is for each triplet check if the sum of the three numbers equals to zero this is also obvious step required because as we discussed we are interested only in some zero triplets Step three, use a set to store the triplet in a sorted order, ensuring the uniqueness. So here, why sorted order? Because we want to avoid the duplicate triplets. So for that, if we sort the triplets, we'll always get the same uh, sorted triplet. Like, uh, let's say here in the case of minus one, zero, one. If we sort this, we get this minus one, zero, one. So that like next time, if we get like zero, one, minus one, we'll also sort this and the tuple would be minus one, zero and one. So basically, if we sort this, we will get the elements in the right order so that we won't get the duplicates. That's the idea. So in step four, we convert the set to a list and return it. Okay. So let's look into code. It's just a translation of algorithm we have. So firstly, we just initialize the set. Okay. Uh, we have result variable declared as set. And then we get the nums length and store it in n because this is required for our iteration purpose. And then we have three nested loops for iteration. So firstly, i ranges from zero to n and j ranges from i plus one to n because we don't want to consider i again, right? That is having duplicates. That's why we keep it as i plus one. And then similarly, k ranges from j plus one to n. So here we don't want to j to be considered again. So we use j plus one as starting and ending as n. So here, you know that, right? This is a exclusive range. That means that only till n minus one, the indexes will be generated. So what is the step two? We just check if the sum of three numbers is zero. So this obvious step, we're just checking with a if condition. So nums of i plus j plus k is equal to zero. Then we just add this in our result. So before adding the result, we have to do processing, right? What processing we require? We have to get this sorted first in order to avoid the duplicates later. So that's why we're just passing a list of i, j, k into sorted function. Sorted function returns what? It returns a list. Okay, so since it is a list, we convert into tuple and then get it as a triplet. So we're just adding this into our result. Okay, this triplet is done. And similarly, we just process through all the triplets. At the end, we just convert the set into list. Okay, I'll just give a briefing about the sorted function here. So here, if you have L is equals to one, two, three, this is a list. Okay, and then uh, we can perform a sorted of L. That would obviously give us one, two, three. So if we keep this as three, two, one what we get we'll get as one two three so basically it is sorting so and then it is reading as list so even if we pass this tuple we'll get as a list so now l is a tuple we're passing l into our sorted and then still it returns the list so basically this sorted returns a list since we have to convert this list into tuple for storing in a hash set we use a tuple conversion there okay so here also we can see the definition right the function sorted takes the iterable so this iterable can be anything okay so whatever is iterable can take and then here it returns a list okay so for that we're just converting the tuple of sorted so how does this looks like tuple of sorted so it would give us a tuple we also discussed that we can't store a mutable things in set so let's see that in action so let's say we have this s is equal to set so here, if we try to add one, it can take because this integer is sure immutable. And then let's say if you try to add it like a string one, it still takes. So if you try to add something as list, here list is mutable. So it says that unhashable type list. So if you just try to add a tuple, 
so here we can see that it can be added into the set so what is the takeaway only immutable things can be added into set not the mutable things okay so what are complexes here the time complex of n cube so here if you see that here we having this n range and here we also having the n range and then here uh, we having in k this also n range okay so here so if we consider in the inner loop what we have is this operation is of one so basically it's always constant it's summation and then here we have this sorted so sorted takes like n log n but what is n here this is like three log three because this is just like three elements right so this is very negligible you can see right so here the time complex is three log three plus and then we are converting all these three into tuple which takes the uh, o of three operations o of three plus this adding to the set which is o of one so and then we're doing is all for n times okay so in inner loop the complexity becomes like n only because this is a negligible factor right so that's why the complexity is n in the inner loops so for the outer loops we already discussed it's n for the outermost loop and it's another n for the inner loop j and then for innermost loop it is also n so it is n cube complexity so space complex is o of k where k is the number of unique triplets form okay so basically here we have to show such number of triplets right? that's why it's o of k i got the code ready here let me try running this so here this is accepted solution for three test cases so these are small test cases it's accepted if you submit this it would be time to accept it because the array length is vast right? and we are doing o of n cube so let me try submit this we'll see the tle in action so here we see the time to accept for this fast array that's why we need to optimize this so let's look into optimized approach now let's look into optimized two-pointer approach so what is intuition here in this approach after sorting the array we fix one number at a time starting from the right and use two pointers one at the start and one before the fixed number we adjust the pointers based on the sum of the triplets ensuring no duplicates by using a set to store the results okay so this is a very simple approach guys so firstly we sort the array okay why sorting because sorting will help us to know like where we stand with respect to zero and the main idea of this approach is we keep one pointer fixed and then other two pointer varying so basically here we are using three pointers to get the triplets okay these three pointers point to different indexes right so we get a triplet and then here we keep varying the left and right based on the sum we have for the given triplet so if we are less than zero that means that we have to increment the left pointer because incrementing the left pointer would help us uh, to get this close to zero by having the more uh, bigger number if you are greater than zero then we have to decrement the right pointer because decrementing the right pointer means like since the array is sorted we'll get a lesser number so that would bring us closer to zero so basically this is the idea guys so very simple so we just like keep on varying these pointers based on the sum and each time we just string this left and right okay so what is algorithm here sort the array to ensure two pointer technique works efficiently that's something we discussed and step two fix a number starting from the end and use two pointers one at short and other just before the fixed number same thing this left right and fixed number okay and adjust the pointers based on the sum if the sum is less than zero move the left pointer we discuss it if we move the left pointer it means that we are getting closer to zero because we would be getting the bigger number this sort of ascending order right that's why and then if the sum is greater than zero move the right pointer because obviously if the sum is greater than zero we have to move the right pointer because that would help us to get the number with the lesser value so we would be making closer to zero that's why so step four store the valid person is set to our duplicate and return the result same thing right so basically here we are ordering duplicates by using the set so let's look into code so the code is just translation of the algorithm we have here so here uh, firstly we sort the array using num sort sort and then we get the length of the num stored in n because this is required for our iterations after that we using the fixed pointer so fixed pointer here is represented by i so i is equal to n minus 1 which is our fixed pointer and then we are just initializing our result so which is the empty set and step two we fix one number and use two pointers we already fixed one number right which is i and then we use the two pointers which are left and right so now we initialize left and right within this while loop so we have to perform this till i greater than zero because at each iteration we would be decrementing this fixed pointer right so that we can get all the triplets in this while loop we are initializing the left and right so left is initialized to zero and right is initialized to just before the i which is i minus one and then we have to perform the operation till left less than right because we don't want any duplicates we don't want to process the elements which are processed already okay in step three we just check the sum of the triplet okay this, this is the basic check right because we want the triplets with only sum zero for that we have to have a check here 
so we are just checking if sum equal to zero so if that sum is equal to zero then it's a lucky case so that we just add into our result set so we just adding the tuple of this we discussed why we quite tuple okay and then after that we are incrementing the left pointer and decrementing the right pointer because we are done with this set and we don't want to have a set again so that's why we just increment this left pointer and decrement the right pointer so we are just stringing our problem space okay so in the next case if the sum is less than zero and guess what here we just incrementing our left pointer because that would help us to get the sum closer to zero right at least if not equal to zero as we get the bigger element then we'll make it close to zero okay because the array is sorted this is possible in the other case where sum is greater than zero that means that we have to be having the lesser elements so guess what here we just decrement in the right pointer so decrementing the right pointer would help us get the lesser element with the lesser element we might make it to zero that's why we are decrementing the right pointer so you got the approach right so basically it's just observation based guys and then after this loop we are just decrementing the fixed pointer to move to the next fixed number okay so we repeat it for all the i left and right okay so basically we'll get all the triplets with some zero at the end we're just returning the result so what is the result here we're converting the set to list because they asked to read in this list right so that's why we just do list of result and then we send it also guys there is one observation here so here we are returning the list of result so which our result is actually set of tuples they asked us to return the list of list but here returning list of set works because they are just iterating over this even if you enter the stresses to return a list of list i'll show you how to do that so guys let's look at the current scenario first if you have this uh, result set so wherein we just add a tuple so it's just like a set of some tuple so now if we print the result it would be like set of tuple so what was the list of result would give us list of tuples but we need to return the list of list how can we do that so we can just use a list comprehension so basically we can uh, define as list of x for x in result so we get the list of list it's simple list comprehension it's basic observation we have right because we just need to convert each set to list that's why we define this list of x so a list of x for x in result so basically every x is a tuple each tuple is converted to list and then it is enclosed by list so it's a two dimensional list so we can do this and get in the list of list okay so what are complex here time complex is o of n square because we keep this pointer fixed and then within this fixed pointer we vary the left and right so these two vary till what n times approximately so and then this is done for all the n here so basically the i will go till n minus 1 to 0 right so this goes for n and then this also goes for n so basically it is n square so space complex is what o of k where k is the number of unique triplets found so i got the code here let me try running this it's accept solution for three cases let me try submitting this so guys our solution is accepted for all the test cases so if you see here we submitted the list combination approach we can even submit the list of result as well so let me try submitting this so yeah this also accept solution so here it is accepted because they are not doing the type check so they are just doing the iteration over what we have and our tuples are also iterable so that's why it's accept solution so if your interviewer explicitly asks for list of list you can go with the list combination approach as well i just gave a heads up on that okay so no need to worry on this and that's a wrap on solving three sum using two different approaches if you found this very useful drop a comment below and share your thoughts don't forget to like the video, spread the words to your fellow coders and hit that subscribe button for more in-depth coding tutorials. Also do follow on Instagram for latest updates. See you in the next one.